The VDS system was something that was in the air. People at the passenger car side had started to work on active steering and we thought why not do it for trucks? It would even be more beneficial for trucks than for passenger cars. There are three features of Volvo Dynamic Steering that is beneficial for the driver. The first one is the low steering wheel force required at low speed. The second one is the disturbance reaction. And the third one is the steering wheel returnability when reversing. On a regular track without Volvo Dynamic Steering, I have to work much more when I'm maneuvering in the track at low speed. So Volvo Dynamic Steering takes away a lot of uh, the work that the driver normally has to do. The steering wheel force required to maneuver a track at uh, low speed is a lot less with Volvo Dynamic Steering. It's about 20% if I compare with a regular track. Also when I reverse it requires very little effort to steer the vehicle. I can let the steering wheel slide back in my hands. If the driver is relaxed when he's reversing, he will make uh, fewer mistakes and it will uh, reduce the risk of accidents. Imagine that we are in a timber truck in the forest. Since the road is very uneven, it's very beneficial to have the disturbance reaction. Volvo Dynamic Steering will keep the uh, front wheels straight if the driver doesn't apply any torque to the steering wheel. Uh, so the software is uh, controlling the electric motor about 2,000 times per second. So it's very responsive to external disturbances. It's quite an amazing figure. It's uh, much faster than most systems in the truck work.